Hey there Wargamers, this is Justin from AMP Services and today I'd like to share with you guys my product review for Games Workshop's new Tau Miniature, the Ghost Kill Battlesuit. Here we've got the Ghost Kill Battlesuit. As you can see, I've configured mine with the uh, heavier airburst configuration here with the fusion blasters. The other weapon looks good, but I chose this for, for the specifics in the game, which I will cover in a later video for, for tactics. This kit also includes these really cool looking drones. Essentially they uh, they boost his cover save or his concealment. That's, that's their, their function, but they do look really cool. The thing that I really like about this model, which if you watched my review of the new Crisis Suit Commander kit, this model is, is much the same in regards to posability. So, like the Crisis Suit, all of his legs have notches and pegs in them, all the joints. And that allows you to have the, the stock Games Workshop pose assembly. And for me, I wanted this guy to be a little bit uh, more unique. I want him to, to fit on the base I've selected here for him. So, I snipped all those pegs off, just like I did with the Crisis Suit Commander, and posed him the way that I, I saw fit. It does make the it's a symbol a little bit more difficult, but I think that having the option is better than not. So if you are going for quick assembly, or you just you, know, you want to play with the model and not as worried about the uh, aesthetics, then you know being able to go with the stock configuration, stock assembly from Games Workshop is uh, is great. But for guys like me who really want uh, some cool posing options, it's nice to to have the ability to, to do that modification. And that's been my, my major complaint with the Crisis Suits. If you not watch that video, there'll be a link below. But uh, the Ghost Kill specifically definitely rectifies that issue and does not have that problem. Um, he comes with a variety of bits. I believe there's two options for his chest here. I don't think there's too many other options for that. He's got uh, two options for his whole head assembly. He's got two different... Uh, actual head ball vision things, I don't want to call that, sensor areas. And he's got, he comes with burst cannons for the top here, and he comes with a different weapon for through this mount, if you choose to use it. So, it's not, this kit doesn't come with a huge variety of bits, but it does look really nifty. My only real complaint with it is probably the price. I think, just looking at them, you know, I'm comparing these two. This one retails for 50, and I believe he's 75. So, yeah, I guess he's bigger, but he just seems a little bit expensive to me. So, all in all, I'm uh, relatively happy with the uh, the miniature. I think that uh, while it does look cool and has some great uh, game applications, I don't think I'll be buying uh, two more of them to fill out a unit. But I figured having one was worth having for my army. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to subscribe below. Additionally, if you have not already, please also like us on Facebook. This will allow you to stay up to date with our studio updates as well as all of our promotions. Thanks for checking out my video guys, I really do appreciate it. 